Hey, we're in Sandpoint, Idaho. World headquarters of Fincognito. We're at the art festival here, and one of our top artists, Ed Anderson, has a booth here. Ed, how are you doing today? Good. Thank good, you, good. Well, welcome to Sandpoint. Thank you. Just want to take a couple of seconds to ask you a couple of questions about you know your artwork. You've okay. been uh, you just tell me you've uh, been at this for a while, but uh, but in this genre, um, not as just more recently as a, a style you picked up. Yeah, just uh, I've I've been working as an artist on and off my entire life, and uh, kind of fell backwards into this style. It's it's basically a derivative of my sketchbook and the style in which I think, and got really lucky did a bunch of this stuff on brown paper and got picked up right away a few years ago and it's been getting published picked up by great organizations traveling the country with it now and just staying too busy for my own good that's great tell me tell me a little bit about uh, what the uh, what, what the medium is here that you, so you like to work essentially in. the way I do it is I, uh, I pile on a bunch of acrylic paint with a lot of water let it run let it do what it's gonna do then I do a gestural sketch over the top uh, come back in and add layers put some light shadows um, and because it's such a new style, every painting is evolving what I'm doing really, really fast. Uh, don't know where it's going all the time and, and really challenging it with every, every brush stroke, every pen stroke and uh, really see some really cool stuff for it in the near future. Well, I saw one that looked familiar there. That was on the cover of Gray's Sporting Journal, wasn't it? That's right. That's right. So this... that was the salmon you had on there? Yep, the two sockeye up there. That was the 40th anniversary cover of Gray's Sporting Journal. And, uh, wow. Been lucky enough to get a couple other covers with Gray's. They've been pretty good to me the last Let's year. see what else we got here. We got the uh, elk. Cause it looks like you got the elk on the cover as well. Yep. Which is awesome. That red bull and the elk that right next to it. That just got picked up by uh, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation as nice. part of their huge fundraising program. So. Nice. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we have uh, currently are running your hen rainbow on yep. uh, some of our shirts, yep, and uh, that was also on the cover. That was the first one to get Gray's cover. Yep. That's and uh, the, just that's the painting that kind of started it all. So. Just loving your work. It's so excellent. We're uh, uh, looking forward to having a lot more on um, uh, on the Fincognito gear. Um, where, where do you think you're going to go from here? Uh, well, that's a good question. Hopefully I'll get home for a couple minutes. That would be nice. <laughs> I see know you've been on the road a lot. See my kids. Been gone for about five weeks, so it'll be nice to get home and, and hang out with the girls and get in the studio, work on commission projects. I, uh, I'll i be traveling again to Salmon Days, first part of October. That's an annual show I really like. A lot of people, a lot of fun stuff. And then uh, hitting some of the sporting expos, getting down to do Safari Club stuff, International Sporting Expos, maybe one or two with Finn Cognito. And, uh yeah, Rocky Mountain Elk, who knows where I'll be. If, if you know what my schedule is going to be, uh, <laughs> good luck. Hopefully at some point I'll be able to put it on my website, but who well, knows. Good enough, Ed. Thanks yeah. a lot. We really appreciate all you do for Fincognito, and uh, wish you a lot more luck in the future. All right. Thanks, Doug.